Howdy there, I'm Amanda B. Johnson and you're watching Dash Detailed. In almost all cryptocurrency networks, there is one way to get paid for contributing to the network, which is mining, or validating, or staking, or forging, or whatever term is given to the job of generating the blockchain. But in the Dash network, there is a second paid job, which is the masternode. Now, unlike mining, where one must constantly upgrade one's hardware to remain competitive, and unlike staking, where one must constantly upgrade one's savings balance to remain competitive, with a master node, once you have one, you are on the paying docket indefinitely. For this reason, plus the annual rate of return being a little over 10%, or roughly two dash every six and a half days, Masternodes are becoming a more attractive investment option for those who would like to get returns within the cryptocurrency space. So let's get started. What do we need? What do we require? Well, a computer and a thousand dash. And now if you don't have a thousand dash, wait till later in the episode, that will be for you. And as for your computer or your hosting options, uh, there are three. Of course, you could do it from home, from any laptop or desktop, but also from the likes of a Raspberry Pi 2 or an Odroid XU4. That's option number one. Option number two is any VPS, any virtual private server, such as DigitalOcean, Amazon Web Services, uh, Volter, something like that. And then option three, and the easiest option actually by far, I've read through the guides, is a masternode specific hosting provider of which there are four. Node40, Splawix Masternode Services, Masternode.me, and an automated service at dash.org for which there's a link below. These services range from roughly seven US dollars dash per month up to around $22 in dash per month comparable in price to standard VPSs. So once you have exactly 1000 Dash in a single Dash address and you've made your hosting choice, just check the description below for a step-by-step -step guide that will take you through how to launch a masternode with your given hosting choice and you will start receiving payouts within two weeks. And for those who don't have a full 1000 Dash but would like to own shares in one nonetheless, two trusted options exist. One is at masternode.me, where 25 Dash will get you a share, and the other is through Splawix Masternode Services, where 50 Dash will get you a share. The contact information for both of those parties is also in the description below. But let's take a step back and look at the wider picture. As I referenced in the first episode of Dash Detailed, what would your mother be interested in? What would your mother be willing and able to do to earn interest on her Dash holdings? Well, that is where a forthcoming offering from the Dash network entitled Decentralized Masternode Shares will come to play. In layperson terms, this could be translated to the rough equivalent of the first and only interest-bearing accounts in cryptocurrency. The Dash development team reports that version two of the protocol will allow anyone with any amount of Dash, be it five or one, to set aside any amount they desire into what will appear to them as an interest-bearing savings account within their wallet. And then this Dash, all the while keeping the private keys in the hands of the owner without, without relinquishing control of it to any third parties, will be entered into a pool on the Dash blockchain from which an entire class of decentralized masternode operators can then pull from to then launch more masternodes. And the incentive structure for this to take place is that the masternode operators who pull from this pool of savings for which they don't know the private keys, get to keep a portion of the payouts themselves. It will be like the most high yielding interest bearing bank account ever, except everyone can be their own bank. And that is decentralized masternode shares. And with current manpower in Dash's development, it's two to four years out. And for that to come sooner, Dash needs more talent. I'm happy to announce that Dash is hiring. If you are an expert in the programming language C++, if you're familiar with cryptocurrency in general, and if you have an eye for what it would take to create a global currency, 
click the link that you see on your screen now to go to Dash's jobs page to get a more detailed description of the positions that are needing to be filled. And as a final announcement, hearty congratulations to two new businesses which are accepting Dash. Uh, first is residential living at the Talisman Apartments in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada. And second is to investment firm Bank to the Future, who is now accepting Dash from qualified investors who would like to invest in blockchain related startups. And my dear internet friends, that is all I have for you today. Please leave your feedback for me below if there is something you would wish I had included or something you would wish I had not included or just a general topic for a future episode that you would like to see covered. Thanks for watching Dash Detailed and I'll see you next Wednesday. Dash's block reward is divvied up into three parts. 45% goes to its miners. Another 45% goes to its masternodes. We'll touch on that more in a moment. And 10% is set aside to hire whatever other jobs or fund whatever other expenditures the Dash network deems necessary.